Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and in today's On Shape step-by-step -step tutorial, we're gonna take a look at a beginner's tier one challenge, the sink washer, found at TooTallToby.com. So we're gonna say click here to get started, and here we've got a repository of over 150 practice models challenges at all different difficulty levels. Well, one of the nice things for beginners users is that we can choose show filters, and then we can say filter for tier one. And and this way we could go through all of these challenges and make sure that we've got all the tier one challenges done before we move on to tier two. So let's continue our journey here on challenge number 24-08-02. This is the sink washer. And here what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down here. We're gonna say, get started or try again. And we're gonna say reveal drawing in three, two, one, go. So all of our tier one challenges are basically completable in two to three features. I think in the case of this model, we'll do one sketch and one revolve. So we'll have two features in the tree. And I think that that first sketch is gonna be a construction line here, right at the middle of the model, and then kind of an L shape over here with four millimeter wide walls. And then we're gonna be able to take that geometry and revolve it about that center line, revolve that L shape, and that should leave us with this sink washer. So we can see here that this model is using millimeters. It's ABS for the material, and that ABS has 1020 kilograms per cubic meter as the material density. So let me move this over here onto my second screen. Here we see on shape, and I'm gonna bring up my keyboard cam, and I'm gonna create a new document here, call this 24-08-02 sink drain washer. And we can see here that this is being created in the public space. So if you're an OnShape user, you're gonna be able to look up this model. You'll be able to look up the entire parametric tree. So we're gonna go here to our hamburger menu up top here, workspace units, and just make sure that we are working in the correct units. In this case, it is millimeters, and that is the correct unit. So I don't have to change anything there. Front plane, S key, begin a sketch, N key to get normal too. And we're gonna start out here by pressing the S key and creating a line. But this is gonna be what's called a construction line. So we're gonna press Q and that creates a construction line. And so now that we've got that construction line there, now we're ready to start drawing in that other geometry. So S key, we're gonna begin a line. We'll kind of come out here into space, single click, move our mouse over, single click, move our mouse up, single click, move our mouse over, single click, move our mouse down, single click, move our mouse over. And for this last one, if you take your mouse and kind of put it over this point and then move it back up, you'll see that you're able to snap to vertical from that point. So that's a good little pro trick there. Single click and then move our mouse down and then single click again. And now we can hit escape and now we can press the S key and turn on the, the dimension command. Launch the dimension command here, dimension between these two lines, that's gonna be four millimeters. And dimension between these two lines, that's gonna be four millimeters as well. And now for this next dimension, what we could do is we could pick this line here, the smaller vertical line, and then pick this line here, the center line, not the end point, not the end point, but the center line. And then we can take our mouse and move our mouse across that center line. And what that does is it creates what's called a doubled dimension, or in this case, a diameter dimension, since we're gonna be revolving this sketch. So we can drop in that diameter dimension and use the 88 millimeters that's on the drawing. We can single click here and we can move over and we can single click on that center line and then move over again and drop that diameter. That one's gonna be 66, 66. And then it looks like there's one more dimension here for the height from this lower line to this upper line. And that height is going to be 11 millimeters. And once you add in that 11 millimeters, you see the whole sketch goes black. That means it's fully constrained or fully defined. And that's what we always want from our sketches. So now here in Onshape, we're gonna jump right from the sketch directly into this revolve command. So we say revolve. And Onshape is going to pick the closed boundary of our sketch. We're going to click in this box here, this red box, for the revolve axis. And then we're going to click on the axis here. And there we go. That gives us that revolve shape. We're going to hit the green check mark. And then to kind of finish this model out here, what you could do is you can press P in the background. P is how you hide and show your planes in one single keystroke. 
And then what we can do is we can right click on the part here in the parts list and we can say edit appearance. We can kind of change the color of this part to look a little bit more like what the customer gave us. Customers always like it when you match their colors. And then we're going to right click on the name of this part again and we're gonna say assign material. And now here from the Too Tall Toby materials library, we're gonna go into our flyout menu and choose ABS. And then we can hit the green check mark and then down here kind of behind where the clock is, we've got this option here for mass properties. So we're gonna click on that option and then you just left click on the part. And we're coming up with a mass here of 19.6 grams. So let's go here into the app. We're gonna click in this box that says mass 19.6, enter, and oh yeah, we got it correct. That is what I like to see. So four minutes and 47 seconds, not bad for that time. We're gonna say submit. That's gonna give us a point on the overall completionist board. And then we can see here that our time was, let's see here. It looks like originally we did this in one minute and 35 seconds. I must not have been creating a tutorial for that one. So one minute 35 is probably going to be considered my fastest time. And so that's going to give me a rank of 36 out of 79 people here on the top 100. And so that's not bad. Not bad at all. It looks like if I scroll down here, the average time for this model is two minutes and 31 seconds. So my tutorial time was a little bit long, but my uh, fastest time 135 is still going to stand as my fastest time. And then we can see here kind of the history of that run, the history of my previous times there. And so if I wanted to try it again, I could use the try again function and try this thing again. And so now I'm going to take this recording. I'm going to add it here as another tutorial. And like I said in the beginning, we're trying to create tutorials for all of these practice models challenges. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to hit the like button on this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next Too Tall Toby on Shape Tutorial. See you everybody.